Okay, so we've got a lot of cars to look at, but I want to play a game with you guys first. So whether you clicked on this video because you saw some cars that you liked in the thumbnail, or you're just now seeing what's on the table in front of you, I'm willing to bet I could pick the top three cars that most of you will be interested in in this video. Now, a lot of you could probably pick these as well, so let's see. Let me know right now in the comments what you think are the top three cars most people would be interested in here. I think it will be the Toyota Supra, the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR, and this 98 Honda Prelude. Obviously, if you've been around Hot Wheels much, you know these are all JDM. JDM cars are super popular, and that's just the way it is. So this is going to kind of be a purge video. I'm following Lamley's suit with that. I'm selling some cars out of my collection, and I wasn't calling it the purge, but hey, just to follow along with the man that knows what he's doing, I'm going to say it's purge. So what we're going to be taking a look at today are actually store exclusive sets. Now, if you're not familiar with that, I'm not going to dive into the details here, but just know that when Hot Wheels does mail-in promotions, the stores that get those promotions generally will have a set of four main lines that are in colors you can only get at that store. Now, these are previous year's cars, but this one was, I believe, from Family Dollar and GameStop. This one was from Dollar General. This set was from Kroger. And also you have Zamax from Walmart, which we'll be looking at here in a few minutes. They typically have 15, 18 cars, kind of depends on how they do it. And you have Target Red Editions, which usually I think has 12. So we're going to be taking a look at some of these that I'm going to be taking out of my collection. And let's just go ahead and dive into it here. We have the 20 Toyota GR Supra. Probably one of my favorite versions of this casting. The casting kind of speaks for itself. Looks awesome in black. I think the only thing they could have added here was some tail lights, just because the rest of the casting looks so complete. But for a main line, very excellent. Just simple and clean. Kind of speaks for itself. Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. Kind of an interesting choice on this color. And to be honest with you, I mean, it is a nice looking casting. And Skylines, regardless of what model they are, always have a super big following. But I saw this one a little while after they had been released. And I kind of forgot that it was an exclusive color. But definitely an interesting pick on that. Range Rover Classic. This kind of has its own little fan base. And honestly, it is a really nice casting. And as far as all the ones they did in this year, I believe this set was from last year, 2022. Uh, this is a very, again, clean version of this casting, the coloration on it. Have the Aston Martin V12 Speedster. Not really my cup of tea, but it is a cool looking car. If you like exotics, it may be something you're interested in. Very kind of futuristic looking, and the paint is really nice on this. So definitely, if you're into exotics, into Aston Martins, probably something you are going to want to pick up. Have this set here from, I believe I said Dollar General. This is from 2021, I think. 70 Volkswagen Baja Bug, tuned edition. Normally, I'm not a fan of tuned cars. The Volkswagens are okay, but really what this one makes me want is just an actual Baja Bug in this color without the mud studs. I think that would be really cool. I don't think they actually ever did that. 67 Camaro. Uh, this one, it's part of the Dream Garage series, but really it looks more to me like an art car. So I'm not a super huge fan of this one. Um, you know, if it had something a little different on the side, I might like it a little bit more. But the casting itself is classic. Uh, just a really nice Camaro casting. 20 Jeep Gladiator. I really like this one. This one's probably one of my favorite uh, versions of this casting. I love the white. It just really brings out the details of the Jeep. Nice front end here. They've got a lot of detail there that you don't get to see on some of the other versions. And some nice deco here too. Pretty cool. I just think it just blends really well. Like I said, one of my favorite versions of that casting. This, perhaps my favorite casting out of the whole video, the 98 Honda Prelude. We're going to stop and take a look at this one for just a second. This is a main line, but check this thing out. The paint here, even if you don't like the color, so nice. Really good details on the front. Everything from the grill, the fog lamps, the headlights. Nice wheel choice. Excellent detail on the back with the tail lights. Even have a black hood and a uh, sunroof, moonroof. I mean, it just don't get much better than this. If you slap some uh, real riders on this, this would be an excellent premium. And to be honest with you, the way it sits right here, it's already better than a lot of the premiums out there, I think. So that's definitely an excellent pickup. If you're a Honda fan, Prelude fan, 
JDM fan in general, that is definitely one you want to keep an eye out for. This set here was a Kroger exclusive, I believe, for 2022. Uh, fun fact, as a side note, they had two, I believe, last year for Kroger. Is that right? Yeah, they had two. They had uh, one earlier in the year and then one toward the end of the year. Have this Ford Focus here. Really nice casting for this. I know not everybody's just a huge Focus fan. But this is a really good casting. It is hurt. This is one of those that's hurt so bad from not having headlight and tail light details, especially with this color because it's really well done. The rest of the car looks really good, but the plain white, there's just so much real estate here. It just makes it look blobby. And man, it just, I mean, if you're going to have this, it would almost be worth taking it out and taking some paint pens to it or something. Have also the 68 Dodge Dart. This one is an art car. You can kind of see what I'm saying here about the art cars. If you like this style, then you love it. I'm not a big fan of it because I'm typically sitting there thinking, you know, that's a license casting. They really could have just done something else with that. Have the uh, McLaren F1 GTR. Really nice casting here. Kind of gives me GT40 vibes, to be honest with you. But it's a nice casting in and of itself. Really cool coloration here. Excellent wheel choice. I think they did really good with that. And last but not least on these sets is the Nissan Leaf Nismo RC02. Not a car that I'm typically care anything about, but in this color here, the way they've got it, it looks really nice. I just absolutely love that. The red with the black. And it's kind of like a matte black. So really cool version of that car. Go ahead and get these out of the way. Be right back with the Zamax, y'all. Okay, so as promised, I'm back here with the Zamax. As I said, these are the Walmart exclusives, and you can tell that because they will have this Zamax tag on here. That's just the acronym for the material that these cars are made out of, so when you see them, they're going to look like bare metal. They're going to have no base coat of paint, but they will still have the rest of the deco. Headlights, taillights, any kind of tampos that they've had on the top side, things like that. Now, there occasionally will be other cars that come out that kind of look like this, but if they're not exclusive to Walmart, they will not have this Zamac tag on the card. So let's just go ahead and take a look at these. And guys, like I said, these are going to be for sale. So if you missed it earlier, I will have a link in the description to the eBay page where you can check these out. 19 Mercedes-Benz A-Class. Nice looking little casting there. And we're going to run through these pretty quickly. We have the 20 Jeep Gladiator. This is the Borla version. I really like that in the black. Have the Mazda Repu here. Did a short video about this the other day. Really cool truck. If you get a chance, go back and check that out if you're not familiar with it. Nissan R390 GT. Really cool little race car there. Probably one of my favorites from this set, the 69 Copo Corvette. I just I like this car anyway. Really like the way that the decals kind of pop off the color. Big Air Bel Air, another probably one of my favorite versions of this car just because I like the coloration of it. Let's see what we got here. We got the Ford Mustang Mach E 1400. Saw these hanging on the pegs for a really long time, so this was not one of the more popular ones, and neither was this one to be honest with you. 71 Dodge Charger. Of course it's an art car and you know art cars like i said it's a licensed casting but from my experience they typically hang on the pegs for a while bone shaker however was a pretty popular one we're big bone shaker fans around here let me know in the comments if you are as well honda s2000 this one was really hard for me to find ah obviously i got this out of the factory sealed set but i had a couple sets of these and i like to never found this for my personal collection last year Alfa Romeo 8C Competition. I found a lot of these. This one also kind of hung on the pegs for a while. Volkswagen Baja Bug. We need to talk about this one for just a second. If you have this, check your wheels. There's a wheel variation on this that is apparently pretty rare. This one is the style of wheel that is supposed to be on here. So just take a look at yours. I'm not going to post the actual picture of the wheel, but if your wheels on your Zamac Baja Bug do not look like this one, then it is very likely you have that rare variation. Now, there are some other mainline Baja bugs that have different wheel than that. That is not the variation. It has to be the Zamac version. Have the Batmobile from the Batman movie. Really cool looking version of this car, and I think it looks really good as a Zamac. 06 Pontiac GTO. Another pretty cool looking casting with the blue there. 
68 El Camino. And take a look at this one real quick. Uh, this is just a pretty cool little car anyway. But look, it's almost like it's got rust or patina on it. I really like that. And normally I'm not just a super huge fan of like the patina look, but I think it looks really good and fits that car. 84 Audi Sport Quattro. Really like this one in the Zamac. I'm kind of a fan of this casting anyway. But man, it looks, looks good in that silver. I, I love it. Dodge Viper RT10. Another classic casting there. I could take it and or leave it in the Zamac, but I, it's at least a really cool car. And last but not least, 69 Camaro Convertible. Interesting thing about Camaros these days and Hot Wheels, it's like, you know, this one was pretty hard to find. So it's like it's either you can find them all over the place or they kind of hit and you can't find them at all. It's And I I don't know. It's like there's no rhyme or reason to it. I've, or at least I've not figured it out yet. So there are all the Zamax. I have a few other things for you to look at here. First off, I do have a couple of extra of these Zamax from this year that I'll be posting up. These have went pretty quick previously, so if you don't catch them as soon as I post them, I'm sorry, but they typically do go pretty quick. I also have this Meyer exclusive bone speeder, and we don't have Meyer around here, so I have to order these online when I want one. But typically, these are more like a promotional car in that you have to spend so much money in Hot Wheels at Meyer, and then you get one of these. But it seems like they always eventually come up for sale where you can just buy them outright. Either way, the interesting thing about these is that they're typically not released as a mainline that year either. They always come in this gold and black theme. So if you haven't seen these, it's definitely worth checking out. And the last thing I'll show, if you've not seen my videos on these yet, I'll try to post a little tag here where you can go check it out. I've done several. But I do have quite a few extra of the Honda Civics and the Nissan GTRs that I'm going to be posting up for sale. Uh, if you're interested in any of the other cars from this set, let me know and I'll see if I can get some extra. A lot of the cards were really damaged from the ones I've found. But these are basically, I think these are Walmart exclusives. I'm, I'm not sure on that, but no, freaking and we have a couple of castings from the Neon Speeder set, the Honda Civic Type R and the Nissan GTR. I'm not going to be posting the GTR for sale for a couple of days because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but you should see the Honda Civic popping up here pretty soon. If you've enjoyed taking a look at these exclusive sets, consider watching this video on the left that YouTube thinks you'll like. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I would greatly appreciate it if you could help me reach my goal of a thousand subs by clicking my channel button over here on the right, going in, seeing if we have some videos you like, and if we do, then hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. Hope everybody has a good weekend, and happy hunting, y'all.